Hey, Sean here with The Social Ref. Trying to get better at doing some of these uh, YouTube videos and these webcam videos. And so figured we'd start a Social Ref video of the week now that we have a few more YouTube subscribers. So the inaugural Social Ref video of the week with the theme of the week is going to be a very historical one with the 75th anniversary of D-Day coming up here in a few days, uh, June 6, 1944. Um, I was lucky enough to go over to France a few years ago, visited Normandy Beach, visited the cliffs, I'm going to say this wrong, in, in France, but the cliffs of Pointe du Hoc, where the rangers scaled the cliffs on June 6, 1944, uh, saw the cemetery at Normandy Beach, uh, grabbed a rock from my uh, awesome cousin Trevor, who was an army ranger from Pointe du Hoc, and brought it back to him. Um, so it was a pretty amazing trip and amazing experience. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder here, I've got a a colorized version of the Normandy Beach landings that I keep on my wall and my workspace. And so to get from a super amazing historical day that decided the history of the world to the probably a little bit less important uh, idea of being a recreational referee or a social referee, the idea that's been on my mind a lot is this idea of a saving private Ryan call. The idea of an honor call where you're you make a contact penalty or, 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 a, or a foul on somebody, and they just keep pushing back and arguing with you over and over again. But it's not really the normal kind of argument about ref you stink or ref you suck, that's a terrible call, but a lot more about like, what am I supposed to do there? How could I have possibly been called for that? How could you make that call on me? And it feels like uh, you're kind of, their, their honor is being attacked. And so you go to the, the famous World War II movie from Steven Spielberg, Saving Private Ryan, and you go to the kind of the, the, the cemetery scene at the Normandy Beach Cemetery, the beginning of the movie, and in the movie with uh, Matt Damon character, who's an older man at this point. Uh, he falls to his knees at the beginning of the movie in the graveyard. And at the cemetery at the end of the movie, uh, he asks his wife, you know, tell me, tell me I've led a good life. Tell me I'm, tell me I'm a good man. That's the idea of the Private Ryan call. We had this crop up you know, four or five days ago. Flag football game, female receiver, ball hits off her hand. A male defender just comes and just smashes her on the arms as hard and as obvious as possible. All the referees throw their flag. Um, you know, we decide it's not pass interference. We have a rule in our flag league called um, hazardous play. So we call hazardous play. It's five-yard penalty. This isn't uh, pass interference in the last play of the game. This is 10 minutes in the game, first half. Very, very obvious call. Five-yard penalty. No automatic first down. No spot foul. And this guy is just beside himself. He is, uh, if you've seen other parts of the Social Ref program, we talk sometimes about uh, spaghetti arguments. He's throwing out every possible argument. They throw it out like spaghetti up against the walls. Hopefully one will stick. This guy is going through going through it all. She ran into me. I was just looking back for the ball. I didn't, you know, I didn't do it. It wasn't my fault. You know, she couldn't have caught the ball, so how could it be on me? And almost to the point where the, the, the team on offense is almost kind of starts making fun of him. Like, well, wait a second, which one is it? Is it that, you know, you were just going for the ball or is it that she ran into you? Or is it that, you know, like they're almost like mocking the guy because he's just going through these motions. But he's going through the motions. I, you'll see this a lot in, in youth leagues, in co-ed leagues especially. Even in leagues where you've got like a really big player versus a really small player. It's this idea of like, that, that call, that penalty, feels like you're attacking my honor. And that's where the idea of the Private Ryan call comes into play. It took me, it took me several, several, a lot of years to figure this idea out, but when the player keeps, keeps arguing with you over and over again, are you sure it's about the quality of the call, the correctness of the call, or is it actually about their honor? Is the call really about the idea of that saving Private Ryan call? Please, tell me, just tell me I'm a good person. Tell me you believe that I didn't do that on purpose. And that's why if you can recognize that idea, it can be a really powerful piece of your diffusion toolbox to the point where you can almost sometimes pre-diffuse big contact penalties in like basketball leagues or soccer leagues or even flag football leagues where the, the player almost seems like besides himself that they did it. Can you kind of pre-diffuse that argument with the idea of, yeah, you didn't mean to, you didn't mean to do it. Can you give him an escape hatch? You didn't mean to do it, but here's what I saw. Or 
you did, you did it by accident, but here's what happened, and I have to make the call. In some cases, you kind of blame instincts, which is kind of a powerful tool of like, yeah, the player got near you, and you just kind of your elbow just kind of went up, but we, we know it wasn't on purpose, or your forearm kind of came up, but we know it wasn't on purpose, or you were just going for the ball, but you, you got him on the arm. And sometimes you take the blame out of it totally. You didn't mean to do it, but when that player, that guy comes up at halftime, and he's still beside himself, you know, again, five yard penalty, still beside himself, comes up to half time. What am, ref, can you tell me what I'm supposed to do there? That's when the idea of, okay, this is actually an honor call. It's actually a private Ryan call. And I explained to the guy, listen, it was only a five yard penalty. But I know I know you didn't mean to do it on purpose. You're a good guy, but I had to call it because he got her on the arm. And you'd almost see like the tension just like, ah, like drain out of his shoulders because that's what he was looking for. He didn't want to understand the rule better. He didn't want to understand the assessment better. He wanted me to tell him, listen, I know you're a good person. I know you didn't mean to do that on purpose. It was an accident. It, the penalty still stands, but that's the idea of the Saving Private Ryan call. Can you give somebody an escape hatch? Can you give somebody an escape hatch when they keep coming back to you arguing over and over and over again? And it's not really about the correctness of the call or the assessment. It's about their honor. Tell, just please tell me you believe I'm a good person. Please tell me you believe I'm not a malicious person who's out to hurt somebody or, or elbow somebody or push somebody or, or hurt somebody. Tell me I'm a good person. Tell me I'm innocent. Tell me you believe that that was an accident. That's the idea of the Saving Private Ryan call. And if you can add that to your diffusion toolbox and, and notice those moments where it's happening and get away from arguing the accuracy of the specificness of the call and just realize in some cases, the reason why someone's pushing back on you over and over and over again is they just want you to say they didn't do it on purpose. And that's the Private Ryan call. So with this big historical anniversary coming up, you know, say thanks to a veteran if you see him around in your, in your normal life. If you're like me and you kind of beat yourself up and say, whoa, it was me after you think you had a tough shift or a tough game and you think you had a bad day refing, do, do hop online and check out Wikipedia and check out those Army Rangers who, who used grappling hooks and ropes and scaled the cliffs of Pointe du Hoc on D-Day and read that story. It's a pretty amazing story and see what a, what a tough day and what a bad day can really look like. Um, and hopefully you enjoy this video and some of the concepts in it and we'll have some more coming out soon. Leave in the comments box or comments down below. Leave some ideas if you want to see some other themes of the week and we'll see you again pretty soon. Call them like you see them.